Hi folks, I'm Bill Powers. Um, I'm running for USD 418 school board here in McPherson. And so I thought I'd just put this out there and let people know who I am and what's going on in there. Um, I am moved here from Maine about three years ago. Uh, I, my 55-year-old uh, disabled combat veteran and uh, I get around pretty good but I have my days I moved here to McPherson because I had uh, cancer five years ago and after I recovered the winters in Maine were just too much couldn't do it anymore um, as crazy as the weather is down here trust me I love it um, I've always been involved in politics a little bit never ran for anything I just want to be informed I truly believe that it is every American's right and duty to vote but I also think it's every American's right and duty to cast that vote as informed as they possibly can be so I have a tendency to just kind of overthink everything to the nth degree before I cast um, you know it, it, it's gotten to the point in politics today where uh, it just feels like everything is so divisive and we are so sure of our side and we're not going to listen to their side because it doesn't matter. I mean, I will probably catch some hate from this somewhere, but I think the biggest mistake this country ever made was changing the 13th Amendment. Now, don't get me wrong, emancipation needed to happen. It should have happened. I'm glad it happened. It should have been its own amendment. A lot of people don't realize that before the Civil War, the 13th Amendment was no judges and no politicians, or uh, no judges or lawyers as politicians, and, and rightly so. You know, they, they are there to decide one side of a matter and defend it to the death, and that just doesn't work in politics. So people ask me, well, what is your I, informed, informed. I want to know everything, or at least as much as I possibly can before I vote. Now, how does that translate to me being on the school board? Doesn't change a thing. I'm going to vote as informed as I can. When we're on the board, or we're on the city council, or we're in Congress, we're supposed to be listening to you. We represent you. And how can we make any decisions if we aren't hearing all of you? You know, I have a crazy little hobby shop down here next to the post office, and I have tons of kids coming in here and hanging out, and I hear what they say. And for some strange reason, the universe loves to talk to me. So I hear a lot of things, and I talk to a lot of parents. And I have parents that live, you know, over on that side next to Eisenhower and have really nice homes. And I have parents that are, you know, over on that side and, and, and can barely rub two nickels together. And I have parents that are in the middle and, you know, they all come in and talk to me. <clears throat> so I, I just, one of the reasons I'm running is because I think with six potentially new members on the school board this year there's a danger of derailing everything good that has happened up to this point and a danger of just putting a lot more people in there that are dedicated to one side or the other. And then I don't want to see this end up being a stalemate. I, I'm talking to a couple of people who are running and, and once I have a more informed feel for all of this, I'll post another one of these videos and tell you what I think straight up. I'm always going to tell people what I think. I have nothing to hide. Um, but I'd like to see a lot of people on there who are ready to listen. We don't, as a board, well, we, I'm not there yet, but the board is really, their whole job is to present things 
that we think the city would like and 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 the budgets and the, the upgrades and things and then have you vote on them and to continuously put up something that people don't vote for because we can't or won't or haven't listened to the other side just kind of a waste of resources there now i'm ex-military i was an rppo which probably doesn't mean anything to a lot of people but we were dealing with millions of dollars in budgets and we were dealing with antiquated equipment and we were dealing with a war at that point in time and one of the things we did was maintained our antiquated equipment you know i drove a 35 year old submarine with 35 year old nuclear missiles and we never sank you know, unless we were supposed to and we never blew up and why that's because we maintained our gear over and over and over so i don't see that in our current situation here and i'm concerned so you know but i want to hear that that's my vote that's one vote and i'm going to do a video here on why i think people voted no when i went to the board meeting the two big questions they had were why was turnout so bad and why would anybody vote no why do they hate our kids we, we don't hate your kids we don't hate your kids good lord i wouldn't have a hobby shop if i hated kids i'm a so, uh, you know, we, we just have to start thinking about are we utilizing the resources we have in the way that benefits the kids the most, you know? And, you know, that's kind of basically where I'm at. I will take this time on this video before it gets too long. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes to answer one of the questions they had. Why is voter turnout so bad? Well, voter turnout was so bad because it was a special election. Okay. It took me about an hour. I went down to the county courthouse and I did a little homework. And look, you know, the last uh, election was like 2,300 votes. This election was like 2,400 votes. The last mayoral election in 21 was 3,072 votes. People don't turn out for these. It isn't apathy about the school. It isn't apathy about the issue. It isn't apathy about... People don't turn out for these. Now, the board talked about, you know, hey, let's, let's put this back on the ballot in November. It doesn't cost us anything. And I agree, that's a great idea. Put it back on the ballot in November. However, you don't have a mayor running you don't have a governor running and you don't have a president running so my guesstimation would be you're going to see about three thousand people turn out hopefully we can drive that number up hopefully the fact that we have four board members coming up for election hopefully the fact that this issue this bond issue is such a big thing hopefully you know those of us that are running those of us that are listening those of us that want our voices heard. Hopefully we can get a better turnout. I'd love to see it, but historically, I'm betting about 3,000 people. Now here's the weird part. We put this back up and it passes. Then, you know, that's over. And then we start with a new board in January. And now we have a presidential election coming up. So the last presidential election the county had 16,000 voters. That's when people turn out. The last gubernatorial, gubernatorial, gubernatorial election we had for governor, we had over 11,000 voters. These are when people show up. This is what people want to vote for. And whatever you tack onto that ballot, hopefully we'll get some attention. I, I, like I said, the bond issue is going to go back up again this November. I don't think we're going to see the turnout unless we really drive it. But if it fails in November, then the new board is stuck with the awesome responsibility, and I mean huge, of coming up with a plan that 16,000 voters are going to vote on. So I think it's really, really important that this board getting in listens. Anyway, that's my 10 minutes. I don't want to keep it any longer than that. I'll be back with something else. And uh, 
I just, a last thing I want to say is I'm not putting out yard signs. Those things cost $20 a piece. I got better things to spend $20 on. You got better things to spend $20 on. If you really want to support me, come on down. I'll give you the Bill Powers for School Board kit, which consists of a piece of paper and a magic marker, and you can tape it in any window you want to. Let's 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 spend our money on things that are important. Let's spend our money on things that, that matter. If you like what I've had to say, or you want to hear more, or you just want to share this with your friends and show them what a jerk I am, don't vote for that guy, whatever, share this around. You know, I got enough people on my side, hopefully we can get a little bit of momentum going on this thing. Talk to people, and if you have any questions, talk to me. I'm, you know, I'm in my shop Thursday, Friday, and Saturday on the afternoons and evenings. Come on in, say hello. Um, but let's be prepared to listen to each other. Have a great day. Bill Powers, signing out.